Okay, situation 21. Refer to the column interaction diagram shown. Column diameter given, number of bars 16, pieces, concrete FC prime, FY. Given yung ating factored load and MU, 525 kN meter. So, eccentric ito, no? binigay yung ating uh, interaction diagram. So, bale, uh, by the way, this interaction diagram is a spiral, for a spiral columns. Although wala siyang binanggit, no? Uh, ito yung, yung table na binigay niya. I saw the, the reference. Nakita ko yung reference ni examiner dito sa exam niya. Sa internet. Sinerge ko lang talaga. So, hindi niya binanggit kasi sa board exam na spiral yan. Dalawa kasi yan. Tide or spiral column. Magbabago yung reduction factor. So, this diagram is for spiral. Again, dito naka-indicate, no? Pero, basta... Kadalasan kasi, basta circular yung, uh, yung ating polog, dalasan spiral yung ginagamit. Pero it can be tied pa rin. Yung spiral lang, so ito yung cross-section natin, pag, pag ganito siya, continuous. Continuous yung ating uh, ties, uh, tie reinforcement. Kung tied yan, although circular siya, ganito lang siya. Isa-isa. Tied pa rin niya. Yung spiral continuous. But again, this interaction diagram, I saw the reference sa internet. It is intended for spiral. Again, because of the reduction factor. Na magmamatter talaga yung reduction factor. So, kung bibigyan kayo ng circular column sa board exam, gamit, uh, i-assume nyo na spiral siya. Okay? So, calculate the value of Kn. Ito lang yung formula natin for Kn. So, based on the formula. Based on our formula there, kailangan natin si Pn. Fc prime and Ag, no problem, binigay yung mga dimension and Fc prime. Kunin natin si Pn using this criteria. The required strength Pu shall not exceed phi Pn. So Pn is equal to Pu over phi. Again, spiral column, P is 0.75. Tide column, that is 0.65 kasi. Mag-change talaga, 0.65. That will affect the solution. We have your 4680 kN. Alright, so, AG, kunin natin si AG. Take note circular yan. That's the area of the column. Pi over 4, column diameter is 600. So, this is our AG. So, we want to solve for KN. Yung formula lang, madali lang siya. Pn, gawin natin newtons. Fc prime, it is given. Ag is that one. So, you will have here, Kn equal to 0.6. Very simple. Alright, next. Rn naman tayo. Solve for Rn. Okay, so ito yung Rn natin. Pwede natin gamitin yung formula na yan. No? So, kailangan natin dito si... Pn. I mean yung E. May Pn tayo. Pwede natin makuha si E using this relation. The moment that is acting on that column at the neutral axis is Pu times E. Kung Mu yan, Pu tayo dito. Kung Mn yan, then M Pn yung gagamitin mo. O ganun lang yan. So, that means E is equal to Mu over Pu. Okay, ginamit ko yung factor. 525 over 3510. It is 0.15 meters. Okay, again, you may use that one directly. Where H, yung H dyan is the column diameter. Pwede ganun. Uh, pwede rin gamitin natin yung relation. Tanggalin natin yung mga ibang value. Uh, alibawa ito. Kung i-ratio ko yung Kn over Rn, para lang masimplify natin, magka-cancel kasi yung Pn dyan. Fc prime magka-cancel. Ag magka-cancel. So, we will have that one as H over E. Sinimplify ko lang. You may use this formula. Kompleto kasi yan. So, if you want to solve for Rn, the relation of Rn to Kn and H and E is equal to this. Kn E over H. Again, you may use this formula na kung nalito ka dyan. So, Kn 0.6 E. Uh, ginawa natin siyang millimeter, yung E natin. H is the diameter based sa uh, figure. That is our diameter. So, 0.15 
uh, unitless yan. Alright. And after that, alright, we are asked here to the determine the required bar size in millimeter. Kunin natin yung redact, uh, steel ratio, required steel ratio. Ipa-plot natin tong dalawa. 0.6 is here. Okay? Then, 0.15 of Rn. Ito yung Rn natin is here. Yung intersection nila, this one, dyan natin kukunin si rho. Ito mga curve na yan, yan yung values ng rho. Yan, rho g. Sa column gross reduct, uh, steel ratio tayo. So, ilan yan? Approximate. This one, itong curve na yan is 0.02 na rho. The next curve that is 0.03 na rho. So, approximate talaga to. Saan ba yan banda? Kung i... Ano natin yung straight line na yan? Saan yan banda? Approximately, lumagpas siya dito sa gitna, no? Lumagpas siya sa gitna. So, yung gitna ng 0.02 and 0.03 is 0.025. Tama? Uh, pwede siya 0.026 or pwede siya 0.027. Uh, approximate ko dito is around 0.027. Okay? So, wala tayong magagawa. It is an approximation. Alright. So, makuha natin after that, kung si rho g is 0.027, solving for the total steel area. The rho and gross area. This is our uh, required steel area. And to solve for the required bar size diameter, the number of bars times the Area of one bar equal to the total steel area. For the number of bars is 16 pieces. Area of one bar is 5 over 4. That's diameter of bar squared. The total steel, steel area is ito. Alright, kuha natin yung bar diameter. So, we will use the next, the nearest rounded up value. Gagamitin natin 25 millimeter. 